I'm the Managing Director of Technology Metals Australia Limited. Uh, we listed on the Australian Stock Exchange in December of 2016, so a relatively new company. So we, we own the Gavin Inther Vanadium deposit in Western Australia, about 800 kilometres uh, north of Perth. Uh, that's our sole asset, we listed on that asset and that's been our, our key of focus since listing. Um, so it's a really well located asset, we've got a highway running right past the uh, front door of the project and uh, ports are within uh, 500 kilometres of, uh, of the project area. So yes, yeah, so we've had a really busy time since listing. Uh, so when we, when we started, the project had eight drill holes in it. So since that period, we've uh, progressed it through to a number of resource statements with our global resource announced in March of this year. And then we delivered our pre-feasibility study on the project in June of this year. So we've had a really busy time and now we're uh, progressing our definitive feasibility study uh, as we speak and aiming for that to be delivered in the June quarter of next year. Absolutely. So, so the, the, I guess the, the key part of the team is we've, we've got a, a group of uh, consultants who have been managing uh, the pre-feasibility study with us. Um, so they've been, I guess, very, very important key, uh, bringing key uh, uh, skill sets to, to the, uh, the study from uh, process engineering, project engineering, the uh, resource evaluation people, all the way through to the environmental and, and heritage side of people. So we've got to build up a really good team that's helping us progress now through the definitive feasibility study. So I guess the first one is uh, we're in the vanadium space and that's uh, a really red hot space at the moment. So the vanadium price has gone up 500% in the last 18 months and uh, that's driven by the Chinese uh, dynamics in the vanadium industry and that's not, we don't see that price coming back anytime soon. So that's a really, really key part of it. But from a project point of view, um, we've got a very large, uh, long life, low cost asset. So the, the pre-feasibility study gave us a really positive outcome and we're expecting a very, you know, very, very positive outcome for the full feasibility study. Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. This is my first time. Um, it's, it's a really good, uh, uh, I guess, uh, setting and to have uh, you know, a list of meetings arranged before you arrive so you know exactly what you're up for and who you're going to be seeing. It's a really good opportunity.